and go. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be doing another virtual investigation. This time we're going to be looking at water retention. To retain something means to hold or keep something in. So water retention means how much water a soil sample can keep in. We have four soil samples today, gravel, humus, topsoil, and clay. And we're going to be looking at how much water they can hold in. If a soil sample can't hold the water in, it will drain to the bottom of the graduated cylinder because water or soil can only hold in so much water. So we are pouring in 100 milliliters into each, and we're going to see how many milliliters each soil sample can hold in. The water that it holds in will stay in the funnel uh, with a coffee filter, and the water that it cannot retain will drain to the bottom. So let's see if this works this time. We're going to start with topsoil. We're pouring in 100 milliliters. I'm going to hold it very carefully. Now, as you can see, it begins to drain. As that one is draining, we're going to move on into gravel. And then into humus. And finally, into clay. Okay, we're going to come back and we're going to look at the topsoil first. Now, we can see how much is retained or drained by looking at this. So, we have to get eye level. And I can see that 60 milliliters, so we did topsoil. 60 milliliters was drained. 60 milliliters was drained. That's how much was in the graduated cylinder. And so our drained and retained has to equal the 100 that we poured in. So if we do 100 minus 60, the poured minus the drained, that will give us 40. So 40 milliliters was retained. Now let's move on into our gravel. Our gravel, again, we have to get eye level. Our gravel, it drained 72 milliliters. And so if we do 100, again, our drained and retained have to equal the amount we poured in. 100 minus 72 is 28 milliliters. Now we go to the humus. And this one is our humus. I can see that there is 60 that is drained. So again, our drained and retained have to equal the number we poured in. 100 minus 60 is 40. So we have 40 milliliters retained. The final one is clay. So if we look at clay, we have 75 milliliters that are in our graduated cylinder. So 75 milliliters are drained, which means 25 milliliters are retained because 100 minus 75 gives us 25. So in summary, water retention is how much water a soil sample can retain. In order to find out how much water is retained, we first have to know how much water was poured in or how much water rained on that soil sample. The amount of water that was drained or was not held in uh, plus the 
the number that was retained must equal how much is poured back in. So if we do 100, or the number that's poured back in, minus whatever is drained at the bottom of our graduated cylinder, will tell us how much is retained. Thank you, and I hope this helps.